Apple farming in Kenya is increasingly becoming popular due to increased demand of the precious fruit. The reason for the high demand is due to its rich nutritional content and health benefits. Returns from apple farming in Kenya are also high. Years of breeding have led to the creation of new varieties. People say most apple fruits found in Kenyan market have originated from South Africa. However, local production is gaining momentum. Also, we have this apples variety that is quite unique. You have to keep watching this show to know it. And guess what? Soon, there will be an apple variety that will be ready for harvest in only three months. Now I have your attention, right? A quick overview of this farming is that it requires a lot of moisture during the flowering and fruiting stage. Therefore, if you're growing apples in the hotter regions of Kenya, you will need to irrigate your trees. According to a research done by Greco Limited, excess water around the root zone will encourage disease outbreak and thus low crop yield. Our farmer from the renowned Wambugu Apple Farm in Laikipia tells us that the best method of irrigating apples is through drip irrigation. Now, let's make our way to Laikipia. Hello and welcome to Kilimona Biashara Show and they say one apple a day keeps the doctor away. Mm, 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 mm. Well, that's precisely why we are here. We are going to explore apple farming. So let's go to the farm. Wow, this is so impressive. This is one of the biggest nurseries I've ever seen and it's full of fruits. But aside uh, from that, we are focusing on apples. So let's find out where the farmer is so that we get to know which ones are the apples here. Let's go. Whoa. If you've been keenly watching Kilimona Biashara, then by now you've known what this is. Dragon fruit. We have a show on that. You should check it out as well. Go to our YouTube. You've seen Popos as well? Wow. Go to our YouTube channel. We have been exploring so many fruits. <laughs> we are still finding our farm. <laughs> oh, this is a heaven of fruits. <laughs> Kids. Hi. Oh my god. Oh, yes. How are you? Fine. <laughs> How did you find me here? <laughs> I've uh, been looking at the fruits looking for you. Oh. Let me come to that side. Welcome. <laughs> Thank Hi, you. <laughs> Hello. We are in theater, you can see. You are in theater? Yes. <laughs> Let me just sit right next to you. We are doing some slaughtering. You show me what slaughtering is happening. <laughs> Which variety is this? This one uh, we are doing is Wampogo apples. Uh -huh. And uh, we normally graft them. We have the loose stock, what we are using, and now we have the scion. You can see how busy we are. This wow. one is now grafted. So this is the Wambugu apple. Huh? So you notice it's different from this one. Yes. This is the mother. Ah. So now we join together with yes. the scion that we are using. Yes. And then we combine together. Ah. So now what you have is complete Wambugu apple, uh -huh. but the red variety. Now what's the secret behind Wambugu apples? How did it start? Okay, it started this way. Mm. This is my father who is it's called Wambugu apples. Yes. It was named after his name. He came up with a very good variety. Yes. After going to the, the forest of Abadea on that side, mm -hmm. then he found a very nice fruit uh, fruiting. Mm -hmm. And then he went and did what you call propagation of four. This tree you are seeing we are doing, mm -hmm. it's out of four trees combined together. Oh. And now we got what you are, you are seeing now. Ah. So now after the curry, by then they were called curry. Yes. They, they did the, some research and all that. Mm -hmm. They had to give it his name because it's unique by its own. And which year was that? That is uh, back in 1985. Oh. But he was, 
Mm. Those are the back ears. Mm -hmm. he, he was doing some propagation and all that. Yes. But 1985 is mm -hmm. when now it, it was called now Wambugu apples. Yeah. Now Wambugu apples is here now. How did this grow to be a household name? Is a, the good thing is that Wambugu apples, it will start fruit at nine months, that is one. Mm -hmm. It will accommodate every kind of climate, doesn't choose any soil. As you can see, our soil here is black cotton. Yes. This one is uh, the worst soil people think we have, yes. but this is the best soil. And, 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 and to those people who use them, uh, that apple can only grow in red soil, mm -hmm. but these are our own, the, the Wambuku apples, yeah. can do well in any soil. It has uh -huh. been tested so many soils. That's why it's unique. Mm -hmm. And it will be fruiting throughout the, the year. Yes. Not like uh, those other apples that will fruit once in a year. Mm -hmm. This one will be fruiting, yes. it will be flowering, it will be, you are harvesting, there are some small fruits, mm -hmm. and also there are, there are some flowers coming up. Yeah. Wow. So in a year you can harvest not less than three times. You now let's get into farming of this apple. How does the germination process happen? How, what happens from the beginning? So you need, first of all, a land that is definitely, you take a, a grafted seedling, within nine months it will be start fruiting. Then the, the other thing you need is make sure that the source of water, because this tree, I'm telling you, Linda, you only need water and manure period okay. you don't have to spray and the only spray you do like as we do a lot of spraying but we do the rabbit urine ah, so you only use rabbit urine it's yes nice. rabbits are very disciplined mm -hmm. they, they, they cojoa one corner uh -huh. so namimi i wait at that corner <laughs> <laughs> Once you spray, if there are some aphids, they'll just die off. Mm. They don't like the rabbit urine. Mm. We also use the azaphoria. So azaphoria, we use a ratio of uh, two is to one. Two liters of water, one liter of urine. Mm. But for if I'm using it for pesticide, mm. I'll use it a ratio of one is to one. One liter, one liter. And also the water that you, 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 you'll be able to see there, that water, we have put it in a dam, mm. and we put some fish. Mm. We have both catfish and the trapia. And we are not. We are only interested on the waste of the fish. So once they they, they do the waste, the water will turn greenish. So the, once it is tar, turns greenish, it's called aquaculture. We use it here as a as a folia. We also have the red worms. Put some somewhere. We put them in a in a in a, in a container. Then their waste also. We are interested on their waste. But Kate, now how did you decide to venture into specifically organic farming? Because it's not easy. The good thing with organic is that uh, uh, technically is that to say I, I've gone the natural way. I don't want to use chemicals. And again, organic, we don't need to spray. So one, you reduce the labor. So the mystery is actually true that one apple a day keeps the doctor away. Yes. In fact, I say you keep wash doctors away. <laughs> it goes to extra. But you see, yes. the good thing with the organic yes. is that whenever you eat that fruit, the benefit of that fruit, personally, I assume, I assume that some of these diseases that we are, we are seeing, cancers and all these, they are, because go back, Linda, to those years. Yes. People used to eat Kenyaji things. But do you hear of cancers? We're also encouraging people. Let's go back to organic. Let's manage them. Do you know what, Linda? I'll supply you. Check very well. Wherever there is a spinach, how to put aphids. Because this one, the aphids, they don't like uh, spinach. Go to the piripiris. We smash them. Yes. Put two days and we spray also. How to put our madudu. And another good, uh, good uh, what, with our fruits, they have a long life shelf. A whole week you put that fruit there yes. and you still eat it. And it will not turn brownish mm. to be white. Wow. So that tells you this is pure organic. Wow. Kate, now after a farmer or a market has bought these particular seedlings from your farm, what next? How do they tender for it so that they can achieve good yields? A one is you ensure that you have manure, the goat, the cow manure, and you ensure that whatever the manure you're using is well decomposed because if you take the manure from the cow's shelf and then you take it to the farm, chances are they, they are going to burn the tree, then you, the watering. And uh, once you do that, this, this fruit, you, this tree, you see you have done the grafting. Yes. The most important thing is to do, you see where the grafting is happening? Yes. I'm trying to remove, okay, let me not remove yes. it now. This is where the grafting we have yes. happened. So anything that will grow from this point, yes. it, it is very dangerous. It will not turn, it will not turn. The, the, the point of Wambugu apple is what is grafted on top. So ensure from the grafting, nothing will grow. Like these leaves you're seeing You're here, supposed to, to remove. remove it, even this one. Though I'm struggling, but you can use the, you see, it has even roots. Make sure that you remove it. 
because if, if you don't, it will grow and overtake this, and this one will finally die. Ah, so that it doesn't feed on the nutrients that they, it's supposed just to feed from the upper side. Exactly. So let's feed this this side yeah. from this top. Don't, don't allow anything. Allow other things to grow. Mm -hmm. So within these nine months, yeah. it will be fruiting. Yeah. So you only need a, a wambugo apple to have it like this, mm -hmm. and then you do a whole of two feet by two feet by yeah. two feet deep. Mm -hmm. The point of doing that is, remember this is a baby, yeah. and the roots need to fit easily. Yes. You cannot give a katoto kat kawani ya, uh, ama, ama two months, mm -hmm. agedheri, kananyonya kwanza, the same pole, with this one. Pole. You do it very smooth uh, and very soft, put manure mix well at least one bucket. Alafu na mix pale kwa shimo, and then you plant at the center. And make it very straight. So kids, even before we plant, huh, I see that you have a shade net here. Is it a requirement, especially when you're protecting your apples? Okay, this one is for, you see, like Kipe is very hot, it's a semi-arid. So we are only trying to control the heat coming back to, because you see you have done the, the, the fruits, we have done them. So we are only controlling the evaporation up. So you, those, those you can't uh, do the, the shade net, you can put on the the mulching, inyasi, isozimekauka, around the plant. Yeah. Remember the fruits, the birds love the, 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 the fruits. So with the shed net, they will not come. And you realize, Linda, we have done the fencing with the plastic something. Yeah. That one, we are doing that side. We are supposed to cover all of the signs. Eh? But you have done with that chain yeah. for the bees to come inside because they also need to pollinate. pollinate yes. So if you close with this shed net, and this one is around 60%, yes. 60% means 60 of heat, mm -hmm. uh, and, um, of shade, yeah. and then the 40 of the, 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 the heat. heat. Yeah. yeah so you can even do 50 50. But if you do this, Aina Shimokuba, so we cannot close like close everything mm -hmm. because even these fruits need to, to pollinate. Yeah. So even if you want to cover, ensure there are some points that bees can get inside. So with grafting, where do we start? This is, we call it root stock. Uh -huh. This is a mother. And leader, as we don't use anything, not the same family. Mm -hmm. So we use apple on apple. So you make sure you remove okay. this and ensure you remove all the leaves okay. so that you're able to cut and graft it. What about the size now? This is where it's matching, here. You can see the stock is the same. Mm -hmm. So you just cut it to, and then you cut like that, it's only that I have. Then you do cut in the middle. In the middle. In the middle I cut. Mm -hmm. Then uh, as you hold this, mm -hmm. then you shape your, as you, you use the V, the V shape. Fancy. Yes. Yeah, you do it like this, the way we are doing our in, <laughs> in high school or primary. Yeah. Hope you have not forgotten. I have, I have not forgotten. We used to chonga like that. Then you fix it here. So fix it and then you wrap it. Can you fix it? Yes, I can do it. Katia <laughs> Miku. Ah, ni weke hapa katikati. Fix it until it yeah. Evil. Yeah. Then, then I, then I wrap, wrap it round. Wrap it. So round. that water doesn't get in. So they can bring the moisture mm -hmm. yeah, around the tree. Mm. Now you yeah, tighten it now. Nice, uh, nice. That's enough now. Uh, it will stay for how long now? Three months to be good to go for planting. Three months and you're good to go. Oh. Yes. And this is how the Wambugu apples begin. Like from three months, it will be ready. Remember, we've not even shown you the entire plantation. Like I mean, the entire orchard where it is. So don't go too far. I hope you still have your notes. Uh, jotting down the nitty gritties of what you need in order to venture into this particular type of farming. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Where you can plant. <laughs> Thank you so much. 
today we are focusing on apple farming and here in this particular farm I see that it has been intermixed with so many crops I wonder whether it is a good cultural practice well to know about that then let's go meet our farmer to tell us more about this and I hope you still have your pen and paper because this is a quite insightful show so let's go meet our farmer yet again to learn more so I see so many crops here. There is dragon fruits. There is yes. uh, which ones are here as well? Because nimono fruits ingine si gawai yona. You so the, the good thing with the apple, mm. you can eat a crop. Ah. It's only maize that you cannot eat a crop. That's why you're seeing the cabbages. You yes. have done the dragon fruit. Mm -hmm. You have done the nectarine. You have yeah. done the grapes. Those ones are friendly. Uh -huh. So that's why we are doing so. But you can realize mm -hmm. the soil how it is. Yeah. It's a lot of manure. So what ah, I was saying, manure. look at that. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of manure, and this is the beauty of apple. You yes. They anything. don't compete for food. No, 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 no. Look at the cabbage. That was easy. <laughs> so the apples, the, you can intercrop with uh -huh. anything on a maze. So it, it is a good cultural practice because Very. I see even this side, there's uh -huh. a lot of fruits. Yeah, there's a lot. And you see this tree we just harvested like two weeks ago. So this one you harvested like two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago, that is when we harvested. So this tree, what you're seeing is not even in season. This is where this up this tree you never find it empty. So it has half fruits. So actually this tree will be giving you what not less than 500 pieces at one harvest. So the family of this particular crop normally go into dormancy, let's say uh, plums and many others. What makes this one special? So it will not shed all the leaves and find it naked as the other apples do. So this one will always appreciate with its flower, flowers and fruit at the same time. So it will be fruiting now and then. But the amazing thing we do, the, the soonest we harvest, we also add manure because you see the tree is fruiting almost throughout. So we ensure that our manure watering is done regularly. As you can see, we have done the, the button drip. We ensure that the water is getting right to the plant. So after planting, once it gets to harvesting, how much can you harvest from one particular tree? Per tree, like now, that's the season when they, 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 they are, we are in see the biggest season. You're supposed not to do less than 500 pieces from one tree. And the lowest, you can do 200 pieces every, every harvest. Kids, now let's talk about the market dynamics. Is there a market in Kenya for apples specifically? The demand is so huge. After testing this apple, it was proven the best. One is organic. So the rice shelf is longer. So even if you want to do it and sell it uh, in, in, in any market, you have the whole like two weeks. We have local market and we have international market. I see you propagate the seedlings and you also sell the, the produce itself, the apples. Now, which one is better? Which one is the best between the two? Well, the business is in, in fruits. Like now Linda was doing calculations, like a, a farm that you may be having 3,000 fruits uh, trees and one tree will give you, let's say the lowest that it does, two, 200 pieces. So 3,000 you multiply by 200, so that's 60,000 pieces of fruits. So one, tr one fruit, let's say you we, we will be bought on, the, on a, a wholesale price, 20 shillings. So 20 shillings multiplied by 60,000, that is 12 million. And if this one is not as calm, it's something practical. <laughs> Easy wash So to, uh, the other is it's not wash wash. <laughs> so then the, the 12 million, yeah, you multiply by two times. Remember for me, we, we harvest three times. And this one is practical. Now Wambogo Farm is well known, well known across the country, even across the world. How do you sustain this? We have not been able to, to, to satisfy the market. If I say that, I'll, I'll be lying because some of people who are watching, they know they have, a, please, can I get 20 kilos? I say, please, we supplied. So it's not yet even closer to satisfying the market. But we are hoping. We formed a, what we call a association, it's called Kagea. This one was formed because of the farmers that have been doing. We have few farmers who have been venturing to this. So we are coming together. We form that association, we'll be selling the fruits together because the market which is not is there, we cannot as Wambogo be able to, to, to satisfy the market. So that's why we had to join hands, all of us, and then we'll be selling together. 
So we are, we are, we are planting uh, the, some of the factories to do the, the apple concentrates. We'll be, doing, we'll be packing now, uh, both local and international. So we are going to manage the market like that. When you talk about the apple concentrate, what does this really entail? Uh, like, uh, so many companies that are making maybe apple juice, apple cider, they import the con apple concentrates. So instead of them importing, we'll be making the concentrates right in Kenya. For the time that you've been here, Kate, you've received so many visitors, even when we are in the farm, both local and international. Tell us about that. Your market has gone beyond the local market. You know, many people are saying, ah, apple doesn't do in Kenya. And we're told, come to the farm and see and uh, i thank god because even you coming because they'll be able to see and uh we have been able to tell them apple can do because in those years the narratives that you have been learning in our mind is that okay, i mean africa apples will not grow in this part of africa i don't know but the variety that my dad came up with it is doing well we have done it in worst places like I'll, I'll mention nigeria i'll mention botswana because like botswana is where karahari desert is eh? actually started fruiting at seven months not like even here seven nine months so far we have gone to 17 countries so far where the, the wambugu apple is doing well and uh, the farthest is grenada in the caribbean countries and trinidad so we really thank god because it's doing well Kit wambugu farm is a big enterprise it's a renowned enterprise but in any business, challenges are bound. So what are your challenges? Okay, one, the challenges that we have been facing, one is people stealing. But <laughs> Man we, we have we have ensured no, you cannot get inside here. Mm -hmm. We have covered, we have fenced well. Mm -hmm. So that was the first challenges that we, we challenge we had. Mm -hmm. The other one is the birds. You can see how the how my brother has done this. Yes, we are trying I even to thought you were welcoming us for Christmas. <laughs> Not for Christmas, <laughs> but uh, once the, the, the birds, they, they get, they, are tr they try to eat the fruits, and yes. they get the reflection of these things, then they will just flee away. So that's what we are, we are trying to do. The other biggest challenge we had is water. You can see like Kipe is very dry. Yes. We don't have rivers. If you see a river here, as this side, unless in your dream, yes. you are dreaming there is a river, but <laughs> it is not closer. Yeah. So it was a very big challenge. And you see these trees, they need water, yeah. but we are able to overcome little by little, but we are able to do the borehole. So those are the main main uh, challenges that mm -hmm. we have but most of them you have been able to have been able to overcome them mm -hmm. and uh, yeah we are pressing on yeah. yes. what, what would you advise someone who wants to venture into this particular type of farming I'll tell the person if you want to to go organic it is possible the other thing is that if you want to make money you make and uh, you make it and make sure that you are there don't do it through the phone that uh, you do, I yeah, do, you read and you want to be there. And it, since I touch that, that tender care, it's something you can be able to, 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 to do. And also, I would encourage someone to do it. It's only not only for you, but even for your generation. Kids, now I can't leave this farm without you assuring my viewers, is this a profitable venture? It is extremely uh, profitable. Linda, go to every hospital. And uh, you take, you, you want to, to, to visit someone who got a baby, someone is, uh, the, the, now the kids are going to be at home. Every fridge, you find an apple. Kids, thank you so much. That has been quite insightful. Personally, I've learned so much. And I'm sure by now you've inspired someone. And they have their notes, everything in their notes. <laughs> we truly appreciate. Thank you. And God bless. Karibu, karibu. I'm happy to have you. Thank you so much. And have that. Ooh, you said it's organic. I it's can eat it from pure here. Organic. Mm, 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 mm. Linda, how is it? <laughs> it is heavenly. Juicy mm. and crunchy. Yeah? And crunchy. Wow. <laughs> Wow.
Have you learned everything that you needed to know about this particular crop? I hope you have because First with sweet. Secondly, you've heard about the money value. Oh my God. Mm, 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 mm. If you haven't, then you can as well make your way here to Bombogo Apple Farm in Laikipia just to see it for yourself and to learn for yourself. And remember, there is a research here happening and you might get the seedlings that you can harvest in three months. How about that? Wow. Then as I continue chasing the doctor away, my name is Linda Koskei. Thank you so much for being part of the show. See you again next Friday. <laughs>